Hi, I'm Laura Barto from Studio One Stampers, and I want to welcome you to segment number six in my series of Celebration 2022. I have a beautiful stamp set to show you some uh, how to use, and I just can't wait to tell you about it. This stamp set is called Calming Camellia. It's an absolutely beautifully illustrated stamp set. It's got wonderful words to it, as well as some beautiful florals. And I absolutely love beautiful florals. Um, what I especially love about this stamp set is it's absolutely free. If you put in an order of you and your friends of $300, it's a bonus item on top of all the other celebration items. And I have just, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on this stamp set. Um, it's so easy to use. It's so beautiful um, in the artistry. So let me get started and show you how to make a couple of absolutely stunning cards with this Calming Camellia stamp set. Well, I absolutely love this Common Camellia stamp set. I could not wait for it to arrive. Um, this is actually a bonus item. Um, anytime a $300 order is put in, this is a bonus on top of all the other celebration benefits. So you just need to grab a couple of friends, put them together or your own order, and this stamp set can be yours. So let me show you some of the things that I did. These are the two beautiful samples that I made with the Common Camellia stamp set. Super easy, um, super um, fun to make. And I just think this is, the, the artistry on this card is just absolutely stunning because the stamp is just fabulous. Well, let's go ahead and get this first one ready to go. Um, what I want to do is I want to ink up this um, stamp set, uh, this stamp actually, and we'll do this in Mossy Meadow. And we'll um, ink that one up and get that onto our card. And, and what I'd like to do is I like to ink it this way because I can actually see um, where I've got the ink and you can see when you ink it up how beautifully it's left the white areas or the light areas and we'll just put that piece right up here toward the top. Oh, so beautiful. And then let's go ahead and put our greeting at the bottom. This is a, one of the greetings that comes in the stamp set and it's happy birthday and we'll just put that right here on the bottom edge. Oh, just gorgeous. So we've got those two things stamped. Now the only thing we want to do is we want to add some um, color with our markers. And so I've got three different colors of markers here. I've got soft sea foam, um, petal pink, which is of course the color of our card, and daffodil delight to just add a little pop um, for those stamen in the center of our um, flower. So we're going to start by just adding our sea foam, and I want to make certain that I don't add too much. I just want to add a little bit. I want to leave some of those white areas still white, but add a little bit more color into some of these areas. And you just kind of find the leaves and just add that little bit of extra color in. And you can see how things just sort of come alive when you do that, just adding a little bit of extra color. And I think that's all we need to do with that. Just, um, oh, the stem, I want to do the stem as well. Just adding that lightness and then the dark um, as it comes up into the shadow behind the flowers. So we'll grab our daffodil and just add a little bit of color on these little stamen in the center, just a couple of them. And then the petal pink. We want to go in and just follow the lines of the stamp and not go all the way to the end. I like to leave that the ends of the, the flowers white. Um, what's nice about that is that'll accent really well against the dark color of the mossy meadow in the back. And you can see how quickly you can just pop in some of this color. And oh, that's all we need to do. It's just um, absolutely gorgeous to add just that little bit of color in there. Okay, well our card is just about making itself. So we'll go ahead and glue this piece onto our piece of mossy meadow. And I wanna just glue that onto the piece here. And then we'll put the ribbon around. So glue that on. And here's our ribbon. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous organdy ribbon. And I'm just going to use a little bit of scotch tape. 
to hold that in place. Um, I will be using some glue to hold it um, firmly to the card, but this keeps it just where I need it to be um, while I'm doing that. And we'll get our, our um, petal pink card base folded. And I always love to use a nice bone folder to get that good um, crease on there. So we'll put the glue on the back of our card and of course we'll definitely put a little bit right on the spot where we have the ribbon to make sure that that doesn't come apart for us. Put that onto our card. And then I've already made a cute bow and I've added a little bit of this elegant trim just to make it look gorgeous. And we'll use a couple of glue dots just to get to hold this in place really nicely. So I'll put one on there and then um, I think another one on the other part of the bow because I really actually want to attach it a little bit more to the paper than to the ribbon itself. And there we go. There is our beautiful calming camellia birthday card. Well, let's get our next card ready. Here is our next card. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? It has quite a toile look to it, and that's what I was after. And I think when you have the beautiful artistry of a stamp set, you can really create beautiful tone-on-tone -tone looks. Well, let's go ahead and get our card base folded. And again, we want to use the bone folder to get our card base nice and crisp. So there we go with that. And I'm going to go ahead, and I need to wash the stamp that I used before, and I'm going to be using my fabulous chamois. I absolutely love how my chamois cleans things. It just does such a great job so quickly, and look at how clean that stamp is, just in a jiffy. And once my chamois has a little bit of ink in it, I want to clean it, I just run it under the faucet and um, squeeze it out just like a, a, a dishcloth. So I'm going to go ahead and leave, um, put this paper behind here because we're going to um, stamp the um, front of our card here with this same uh, stamp that we were using. And you can see, again, we've got that inked up beautifully. And I'm just going to go ahead and go around the edges here. Oh, isn't that just beautiful? And not a lot of this is going to show, but enough of it so that it really will... Um, give me quite a gorgeous look on my card. And then I think I'm just gonna add a little little piece right there. Ah, that's exactly what I want that to look like. I just absolutely love this look. Now we're gonna use the same ink and we'll do our white piece here. And we're gonna use a different stamp in this stamp set. So it's this cute little um, foliage piece. So we'll go ahead and ink that and just kind of randomly um, go onto here. And I love the look of always kind of coming off the edge. Um, I think that's just a beautiful look there. And I really don't need one here, but I feel like I should. So there we go. So now that's beautifully, beautifully stamped um, to go on our piece here. And you can see I've added a little bit of ink to my um, ink pad so that now it has a little bit deeper color. This is Misty Moonlight. And I picked Misty Moonlight because I absolutely love these beautiful florals. These are the Heart and Home um, doilies, I should say. Um, these are doilies, and they come in three colors. And I love this Misty Moonlight. And I wanted to create a card um, using um, one of these half doilies. So let's just go ahead and put our card together. This is super easy to do. We'll put a little bit of um, glue on our doily. And I'm not going to do the edges because I don't want to get anything onto my um, foil. Um, it's really hard to get things off of the foil. So I'm just gonna position that so it's right centered on there and a little bit at the edge. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and put this piece onto our card. And I'm gonna come up a little bit above center over to the side just a little bit above there. I want that greeting to be a little higher than right in the center. And we'll go ahead and glue on our stamped piece. And that's just going to go right to the edge of that foil. There we go. That's how I know where to position that. And then I've already gone ahead and stamped. These are um, 
the circle the circles have been made with the layering circles dies that is a collection I think probably the most used um, die set that I have I've had it for years and it's just fantastic so I've got that ready to go we're going to use a couple of dimensionals to put this piece on these are the mini dimensionals they just work so well because I can get my height in so many um, areas really quickly and then I've got my little ribbon Oh, there we go that slid a little bit it takes a little longer to have things um, dry when you're doing foil so I've got my piece of ribbon here I'm just going to fold it over and just lay it across here and I'm just going to toss a little bit of glue underneath here I know that's not going to show so I know that um, it will hold it well and it'll stay in place and then I want to position this so I want to make sure my greeting is straight and I'm making certain that I put it in the center of this doily so here we are just right there like that oh yes that's just what I wanted so there you go a beautiful beautiful card um, using this fabulous calming camellia stamp set well enjoy